Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We got some interesting lighting effects going on in the game right now as I do this. Um, if you remember last time around, we had some epic story developments. All right, we had a giant storming of a castle. We had a ginormous boss fight showdown. And now, we have to head back to our base in order to basically advance the plot. What I want to do very quickly, I want to look here in Port Chester, and I want to see if there's any, um, any items or anything there that I can grab that I haven't gotten before we leave. And then we're going to head back to, to, to our base and see what happens. I don't actually know what happens, what's going to happen in the story next. If anything interesting, you know, I don't know. Let's, uh, but let's make sure that we get the spoils of war, as they say. It would suck to have done that giant fight and not get any good rewards, you know, that are maybe here for it. We can have upgrade materials and stuff that we need. I don't know. Let's find out. All right, so it says there's one right over here. Down, down a floor. It looks like there's a door that's locked. Down a floor. How do I get down? I don't see a way down from here. Nope. So maybe there would be a way to get in there. It's a door. Hey, it looks like it's locked. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I try to do this one? I couldn't figure it out. I think you like there's a door that's locked, and I could not figure out how to get in there. But maybe... Hmm. See, lock the door right there. You can't... You think this would, this wouldn't break the ground? No, I don't think so. If I shot this, I don't think this would break... I mean, I'll try. I don't think it's going to do anything. Nope. <laughs> I'm just make a mess. <clears throat> a big mess. That's about it. Um. See, so there's the door that I need to shoot open. Looks like you need to swing across, but how do you get the door open, right? <clears throat> Is there a window or something? See, maybe if the shoot... Oh my god, you do. You have to shoot it from, like, a very odd angle through that window there. See that? Maybe you could do it from, like, over here. Let's find out. See, okay. There's definitely a hole to do it, but you've got to be at a very... Unique position. Maybe the top of this statue? Oh my god, it's so close. Look at that. Yeah, I did it. Holy crap. That was interesting. This proves I don't have a funny side. The fact that I said that I would not impersonate Dr. Disrespect for a... Uh, uh, oh, shit. The fact I said I would not impersonate Dr. Disrespect for a month or a week if you paid me a million dollars mean I don't have a funny side. Or it's just, just a ridiculous thing that you said. Like, what's the point of even entertaining it? You don't have a million dollars to give me. No one wants to see me impersonate Dr. Disrespect. Like, it's the most preposterous thing. It's like saying, you know, would you shove 25 Snickers bars up your ass if someone gave you a million dollars? But you don't have a million dollars, and I don't want to shove Snickers bars up my ass. So why would I even entertain what you're saying? But somehow I don't have a sense of humor, apparently. Okay. <clears throat> By the way, everyone should join the Champions Club right away. As soon as you can. Okay, um, <clears throat> over here we got one. To hypothetical? I don't deal in hypotheticals. My life isn't dealt in hypotheticals. My life is very matter-of-fact. My life is very realistic. I don't live in a fantasy world. You know? Come on. Loot? Where's the loot? It's somewhere in here. Okay. There it is. It's way up, so we gotta climb. What the hell? What was he standing on there? <laughs> Floating. I gotta go way up to get this one. Uh, where is it again? Okay, yeah, it's way up. Cookie Monster says he's liking the Call of Duty streams.
Where is it? Wait a minute. It was just showing the loot. Now it's not showing it. Huh? What the? It's saying it's above, so it's one more floor up. What's weird is I totally cleared this area already. Okay, it's further up. I totally cleared the area already. So I don't know how I missed this loot. But apparently I did. Have you gaming is enjoying the playthrough? Thank you, Have you gaming. I appreciate that. I'm glad that you are. Where the fuck is it? Why the fuck? Why can't I find it now? 16 meters up. So it's directly above me. Ten meters up. It's got to be directly above my head. How do I get up there? <clears throat> like one more floor up somehow. But how do I get to go one more floor up? From here? Maybe it's right there where the wood is? It's right there. Okay. How would I go about getting in there? Shout out to Horatio Razalon, who was resub for four months. Thank you, Horatio, for the four-month resub. I appreciate that. <clears throat> I don't know what he's doing right now. <laughs> I have no idea. <clears throat> okay, here's it. Right there. How the fuck do I get in there? I don't know. I don't see a way that I can get inside here. <clears throat> uh, this is all blocked off. Snoozy Biku Cheers says, Have I ever hunted game in real life? I hate how games tell you to shoot a deer in the head with an arrow instead of near the side or shoulder. I have never hunted in real life. Absolutely not. Never been gone hunting. <clears throat> so maybe this is what I need to do. Go here. And then go down a floor. Yeah, see that? Yep, that's what it is. Okay. It's so dark. Can't see anything in here. Super duper dark. Like an abandoned part of the uh, the building. I can't see anything. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? <laughs> Climb up. Alright. I think there's still more loot here. There is. There's two, three more pieces of loot before we go back to the, the main base. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think there's somewhere safe to jump here. Uh... All right, let's just drop down. Try not to die. That'd be bad. <clears throat> I can't aim in video games, so why would I be able to aim in real life? I think my aim is pretty good in video games. I think you're just being a huge jerk. I don't know why you would even say that. You're horrible. You're a horrible person. Why are you being so mean to me? What did I ever do to you? In general, I feel I'm a nice person on my streams. I don't know why you're being so mean to me. Let's see. When was the last time I was recognized in public? Oh, I couldn't even tell you. Not the last year because of COVID. There's no way anyone will recognize me with the mask on, right? Um, before then, probably there was one time in a mall at the mall where, and this was probably 2019. I think my wife had gone into like a you know makeup store or something, so I was outside the store like walking around. I think I sat down one of the you know the public chairs. You could sit down. They don't have any more because of COVID, but they used to have public seating. You could sit around and relax. <clears throat> and uh, and I was sitting and I was walking by and he recognized me. Surprisingly enough, he recognized me from the fighting game community. He knew me from my Street Fighter days. He did not really care about uh about YouTube or, or 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 streaming or anything. He actually wanted to talk about fighting games and competitive stuff and all of that. And we talked we talked for maybe like two three minutes and he was like, all right, I don't want to you know take up all your time today. See you later. 
He was very respectful. I told you guys, I've never, like seriously, I've never met a person who recognized me in real life since I've been a content creator, now for over 12 years, who was a jerk to me. Everyone was always nice. And that's a really good thing to know that you recognize someone out there, you're actually respectful of them and their time. And you know, the the the, the most people, if they're, if they're a fan, they'll be like, hey, can I get a picture or whatever? I said, sure, you take a picture and that's it. You know, no big deal. Everyone's very nice. Let's see. Uh, how would I go about... Oh. Well, that's easy. Wait. Wait, what? what? How? I just want to go in the window. Maybe... Okay, you can't. You got to do this. What the... As stupid as that is, the window's obviously open. You should be able to crawl through it. The game makes you shoot the door instead. <clears throat> Pretty dumb, but whatever. Okay. Would I consider going to a Twitch con? I mean, long term, eventually, maybe. But short term, no one's going anywhere. <laughs> maybe long term. Maybe if... Let me put it this way. If, for example... Number one, COVID's gone. That's number one. Or it's manageable like the flu. Number two, I'm in a good financial situation where I could afford to take a few days off from streaming to actually do something like that. And number three, if a convention was in a town or an area where maybe it was a nice area, like if my wife and I wanted to spend some time there for tourism and have like a mini vacation while I was able to attend the con and maybe meet some fans, then I would say yes. I would probably not just attend just a TwitchCon just to attend a TwitchCon. Mostly because, you know, I have a family. I'm not just some guy sitting around doing nothing all day. And I wouldn't want to just go and leave leave my wife and everyone behind, you know. I want my wife to come with me and spend some nice time together. Well, like I said, primarily my focus is we got to eventually go on a honeymoon. You know, we haven't done that. <clears throat> so me going to a TwitchCon is like lowest priority on the totem pole. But I'm not saying it's out of the question completely. <clears throat> Uh, how the fuck? Up to, oh, wow. How do I get in, get in there? Uh, I don't see, like, an ex entrance anywhere. Maybe there was a door on the other side and I missed. So these doors are closed. I don't know why there was a ladder. Oh. Why there was a ladder up like that? It doesn't really go to anything. Alright, so I can get in here. But there's no way up. What the hell? <clears throat> there's got to be a way. Maybe I need to climb all the way. Wait, what's that pot there for? I honestly don't know. There's a bunch of explosive pots here, but I don't think they have any purpose. So what I'm thinking is maybe you got to climb all the way up. Oh, I know what you got to do. There it is. I just saw it. Here we go. Now I go in that, the door that just opened. I got it. <clears throat> I got it. What's going on? <laughs> no, see, that is true. Someone just said I would have to find a, a babysitter for my son. Well, I mean, essentially, what they're saying is I would have to find someone to watch Jasper. That's right. So that's the thing you got to understand is for me to go on any travel right now, it would be a lot more expensive. Not only am I paying for the travel and the accommodations and all of that, but also i got to pay for the care of my cat when I'm gone, which can be pricey. So... <clears throat> Things to think about, guys, when you get pets. You gotta understand. You gotta care for that pet when you're not around. You can't just freaking live in the... Try to fend for themselves, you know? You gotta be conscious of this stuff. Here we go. No, I didn't want to do that. Would you stop doing that? No! What the hell? <sighs> Fucking idiot. Maybe I can just go sh climb straight up and go right to the door. I'd like to try to do that, but I don't know if he's going to do that or not. Here, I'm going to go to the left. And I'm going to try to go straight up. Alright, that was way more easy. And there it is. Alright. Can I upgrade anything with all this stuff that I just found? Let's take a look. Critical Registry says... 
What do I do? I'm 21. No girlfriend. It sucks. Is there hope? There is hope. I just think that it's kind of hard to do anything right now with the way the world is. You know what I mean? You got to wait for COVID to, to blow over, honestly. And then maybe you'll be able to actually do something normal later on in your life. But for now, we're all kind of shot. We're all kind of stuck, dude. I cannot upgrade the spear. I can upgrade this spear if I feel. But I cannot upgrade the other spear. Um, can't upgrade the rations. I can upgrade more arrows. I think I'm just going to upgrade the spear. There we go. Just keep making the, the fucking spears better. Okay, now we continue on now that we've done the the looting. I don't know why inventory is glowing like this. Like, what's the big deal? What is this? A copus. It's a dagger. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that piece of shit. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to have some major story developments here as we go back to camp. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> so quiet here. Is everyone at the wrong house? What? He said that before it even loaded. <laughs> Electron 7234, just subscribed for two months. I think if a new Metal Gear Solid game or remake is made, Dan Crenshaw could be Snake. I don't know who Dan Crenshaw is. Thank you for the resale. What is going on here? Look at this. So he's basically saying everyone's missing. He's right. Look, normally the people who are just around, they're not really. There's someone here. But not a lot. Usually there's a lot more people around. So, I think we know why, because of a certain homecoming. Possibly everyone is uh, over at the log house. Excuse me. The long house, not the log house. The long house. That's it. Okay. Yeah, and these guys are heading over to the long house. Huh. <clears throat> cool. Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice a year. What? You took your time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? Oh, boy. Here we go. I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. Oh, dog. That's what happened. Brandvi, Brandvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch Fulke do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman mart. I know who I am. I know my destiny. And you will not hinder me. What the hell? He's nuts. <laughs> she completely destroyed his mind. <clears throat> Brother, forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Jeez. I mean, what do you think was gonna happen when he's being tortured? Stand with you know? What the hell? <laughs> they all started walking on the stools. That's the scene. We should talk to him, see what he has to say, right? Free Jerome was recently covered 13 months, 18 total. Does we ever go back and play Persona 5 Royal Edition? The game reminds me so much of your life. A cat reminds me of Jasper, and the protagonist reminds me of you back in the day. A rebel hangout in arcades and getting all... Oh, my God. Uh, maybe. But not anytime soon. 
Uh, July's for Soul, thank you for the cheer, but I'm telling you right now, now you're getting ridiculous, what you're saying. And, I, I mean, you're a top contributor here. You gotta stop. You even said a word that's banned on fucking, in my channel and on Twitch. You gotta fucking stop right now. You know, I'm trying to be lenient with you because you are a, a contributor and you're a positive influence on the stream. But I can't have you fucking in here saying dumb shit. You gotta fucking cut out now. Alright? Stop it, man. <clears throat> okay. Basin, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate, but tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Don't let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. Expand Dong, I already explained that multiple times, but apparently you're not listening. Persona 5 Strikers is a new game. Atlas is infamous. Infamous for striking down people's channels who cover new games. I don't know why they do it. Even if you follow the fucking guidelines, they do it. So that's why I'm not playing it. Persona 5, or Persona 5 Royal is not a new game. It's just a remake of a game that I've already played and it's fine now on YouTube. So that's why there's less risk and I would play that over Strikers. <clears throat> Sigurd has been through so much. Be patient with him. Of course. I cannot imagine. The savagery of that woman, Volke. For all her wretchedness, she seemed to... to like him. I know that sounds strange. How do you mean? She claimed to know him, to admire him. Said he was a greater man than we could ever know. Yet for all her praise, she tortured him to the brink of madness and death. I do not understand why. <laughs> In time, Sigurd may come around. And if he does, he may be willing to speak. Yeah, what did she show him? Did she show him the, the stuff with the ancients and show him maybe she, about the pieces of Eden and shit? Did she show him all the stuff that people don't know? <clears throat> it's very it's very possible. I don't know where he went. A poem by Holger? I'm not reading that. <laughs> uh... Snooze and Biku cheers and what do you rate these Assassin's Creed compared to others? What's your favorite? What is your least favorite? Uh, my favorites are definitely the, the, the trilogy of two, Brotherhood, and uh, what was the last one? Revelation. That's definitely the three best, in my opinion. I also really like Assassin's Creed 4. Um, I actually really liked Syndicate as well. A lot of people didn't, but I liked it. But I think this game is good. It's, it's better than Origins, but I don't know if it's better than Odyssey. <clears throat> Where the fuck did he go? Am I supposed to know where he went? Go, oh, my eyes. Went over here. Weird. I just wandered off over here. <clears throat> what? I should mark the wrong thing. Frog. It has nothing to do with being claimed. It's copyright strike. Boy, people, I swear, are trying to piss me off today. All right? Listen. Listen up. Open your ears. Atlas is a company infamous for claiming stuff and copyright striking people for no reason. You can even follow their guidelines of what to put out when you're doing a game playthrough on YouTube or Twitch, and you still get claimed. There were people who were getting stricken off of Twitch, and there were people who were getting copyright strikes on YouTube videos for playing Persona 5. I was one of them. Even though I followed their guidelines, they still gave me copyright strikes. All right? A year later, I went back and I finished Persona 5 and finally didn't have any issues. If I play Persona 5 Strikers, there's an incredibly large chance that those fuckers are going to give me a, fu a fucking strike again for no reason. So I can't play it. All right? Now stop with the dumb questions. I've answered this a million times, man. <clears throat> what do you do? Oh. I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. But he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out. But... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift, a steep step, between then and now. 
I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And His lips aren't moving. <laughs> I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. <laughs> no. I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face... The volume's of... low? Okay. Here you go. I see only my brother and my truest friend returned to where he's loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's just like he's went. He's gone nuts. What the frick is he talking about? Like I said, I could see if like he was eyes were open to the ancients and. The, the, the pieces of Eden and how there's basically all this stuff going on behind the scenes manipulating humankind and everything. But it's still what he's saying doesn't make sense. You're, I'm a god or whatever. What does that mean? Tripe tipped me a dollar thirty. Thank you, Tripe, for the dollar thirty tip. I appreciate that. And Timbo just cheered. And he says, There's rumors being up. Lynn calls me back to Randy. Let's tell her the good news. There's rumors picking up with GTA 5 being updated for new gen systems that PS2 era games will get remasters. Would you play them if that happens this year? It would depend on the game, you know? It would depend on the game. So. So I guess we just go over here. Alright, let's see what happens. Greetings. What happened yesterday? <clears throat> you and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. <laughs> I wish I could say more. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he is barely the man we're searching for. That's it. Quite so. That's done. Oh, what the dude? Did more? Did you see that? They added more fucking regions to the fucking map. Are you fucking for real? They added more regions. Oh come on! You pain. This game is a pain in the fucking ass at this point. Seriously. They just added more. I want to see the Alliance map. You fucking assholes. This will give me the rewards I need to upgrade my camp, actually. Both of these. Nottinghamshire and Glowisher. So these are... This is new. This one right here they just added. It wasn't there before. So that's the new one that was unlocked by the story. This one I've heard you basically get <clears throat> taken out of the story for an extended period of time, so I probably don't even want to do that. So I'll do one of these three. I'm probably going to do this one because it's 220. It's the lowest level of the three that are still in the mainland, and it's going to give me resources that I need. So I think we're going to do this one. <clears throat> what transpires in Glauchestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. Oh. He has traveled to Glauchestershire in search of a wife. A wife. He is in love. When did this happen? Mm -hmm. When doesn't this happen with our dear lovelorn blacksmith? <laughs> there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? 
And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. I guess we'll do this. Why not? Looks like a lot more people are going to die to my poison spears. Oh well. Fuck. All right. I'll be Gunner's <clears throat> keeper. If only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. Wait a minute. Did it just say the first night of Sam Hain? It did. Sam Hain? Isn't that supposed to be like one of the things that's the origins of like Halloween and shit? I think it is. <clears throat> well, I think what I should do, we'll have to fast travel, okay? Um, since we'll be heading west, maybe I'll do this raid along the way because it's right there. And then hit up this viewpoint and then look for what this is. It's located where the Afon and Thames rivers meet. It's Thames, isn't it? The west side of town. Likely it's this right here. <clears throat> What's this river here? It doesn't say. Thames. That's the Thames. And what's this river? Thames. And what's this river? The Great Ouse? Afon. Yeah, I was right. That's it right there. Yep. So, that's what I should do. I'll fast travel here. We'll do the raid. We'll hit the viewpoint. And then we'll head... <clears throat> excuse me. We'll head southwest. And we'll, we'll uh, uncover the town. So let's fast travel here. All right, a lot of shout outs to do. I'm actually gonna close my window too because the sun came out, it's bothering me. Um, Lysor Soul Cheers says, I'm your biggest fan. Thank you, Lysor Soul, for that. Number one Moses fan, Cheers, you hear about the GameStop fiasco with Wall Street? Yes, I talked about it all on pre-stream today. Thank you for the cheer. Rob on wheels at 100 bit Cheers, how much gameplay have I missed? None, all I did is I went back to camp and Sigurd's nuts. He's just literally nuts and we don't know what's going on and that's it. Um, Critical Red Cheers, have you ever played Nar Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects? I have not. That, I, it wasn't a fighting game? Maybe it wasn't. I'm trying to remember what that is, but I, I didn't play the game. Electron Cheers, why do so many video game characters sprint just to risk speed walk in real life? Because uh, they all use the same animations. They all copy each other. Now, I don't know. Uh, Lives of Soul Cheers, they should have added romance options in the game. There are, apparently, right? If you remember, during one of the missions, some dude hit on me. And then during that, that, that mission where you were trying to... to kidnap the, the 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 queen and get her smuggled back to her homeland there was a romance option there too so they are in the game they're just very stupid and spurious and really have nothing to do with the game at all they're just added i guess in there just to wedge it in and say it's in there <clears throat> snooze biku cheers would you prefer coffee or tea which brand you generally drink um you know it's a good question when i was a kid growing up i always had tea because my mom loves tea but now that i'm older i drink coffee more often than tea um as for brands, I don't really care, but usually we just get, like, one of the Starbucks brands little things for a K-Cup maker. That's usually what we have. Tea, I think there's, it's called Stash Tea. That's one of the ones that I like because you can get lots of different kinds of tea with flavors and stuff. Legs Lava Doom Cheese, I'm having roast beef sandwich for lunch. Sounds good. Roast beef is delicious. And Timbo Chase, you can romance the girl you talk to at World Table. Oh, what's her name? Ronjvi, too. That's right. That's another, another one. That, But apparently that one screws with the story, which I don't want to do. I don't want to screw the story up. <clears throat> sun came out so goddamn bright <laughs> out of nowhere like gee i can't even see in my own room here okay ah okay so we are going to head west to this this raid oh it started raining west to the raid we'll raid the town get some resources hopefully and uh and then we'll head to the viewpoint which will get us a foothold in this new area Glau was it Gloucester? I think it's supposed to be Gloucester or something like that. Well, my horse... It doesn't work. Look at this. Call your horse. Release. Already? Oh, okay. It wasn't working twice. It worked the third time. Alrighty, then. Here we go. Yeah! I will say the graphical design of the overworld in the game is very nice. You know, some areas you get these beautiful flowers. Other areas, it's a little bit more gloomy. But I definitely like the world design of the game. I think they did a good job with it. The game is just... I mean, 
it's just too long. Like, I like this game a lot. I do. I think it's a great game, but it takes so fucking long. Because you got to do so many regions. What you got in the way, Foxy? <laughs> Fox in the way. Um, there's so many regions you have to take over for the story. It's ridiculous, man. Angelo Bester Chase said Sam Haynes pronounced Sawin. It is 31st October. It's one of the Gaelic holidays celebrated by witches. It's between autumn equinox and winter solstice. It's supposed to be when the veil between our world and the world of the dead is the thinnest. Right, and eventually that led to actually, October 31st, Halloween celebration, right? Like, it's kind of related. What is that? Huh? What the fuck? Observe the signs and pass through the gates in the right order? What? is this? <clears throat> this is, there's a bunch of shields on the ground. Four. This one shows one, two, three, uh, even more shields. I have no idea what I'm doing. What the fuck? Huh? So I guess I didn't do it right? That one was right. See, it lit up. Okay, that one had one white shield. Maybe you gotta go now to one that has two white shield. No, this one doesn't have... Wait, this does that. This one has three, four white shields? So maybe that's fourth? This one has three white shields. Maybe that's third. This one only has two white shields. Yup, and it lit up. So you're counting the number of white shields. Here's three. Yup, okay. What is the fucking point of this? One, two... Three, one, wait a minute. One, two, three, there's four. Okay. Wait, it did, what? Oh. A wary guest who wants a meal is silent. He listens and looks about. So must a wise man be, who searches within himself. What? <laughs> uh... Huh? Sure. Whatever you say. <clears throat> I have no idea. Anyway, Sly to be $1.30 and said, what about Persona 5 Dancing in Starlight? It's, dan it's a dancing one like Just Dance. Well, number one, I wouldn't play a dancing game to anyway. And number two, likely with the music, you probably get in trouble. So the answer is no, I'm not playing that Persona 5 game either. <clears throat> I refuse. Okay. I'm gonna pretend like what we just did didn't exist. I don't know what that was. I don't know what the point was. I don't think there was one. I don't think I got anything for it. <laughs> it's just something stupid. We need more side content in this already 100 hour game. What can we put in? I know, gibberish. Sounds good. Fill that game with gibberish. Evesham Abbey. Need to clone myself here. Do you now? 
Yo, he's slapping the shit out of some soldier. Great time. He's slapping the shit out of some soldier guy over there. It's poison time! Every time they die, it's a cloud of poison, so it's poison on poison. I can't even see anything. Nice! That was a cool jumping plunge. Nice. Oh, so good, dude. The spears are ridiculous. I love them. I absolutely love the spears. They're my favorite weapons in the whole game so far. You know, actually, Cass says something interesting uh, the, the other day. She's like, you know, I'm playing the game. I haven't found a single broadsword or greatsword, but apparently there's abilities in the, like to actually use them. Yeah, she hasn't found one. I was like, yeah, I'm further in than you, and I haven't found one either. I don't know what the fuck these great swords are. Like, what are they waiting on? Oh yeah? <laughs> What'd you say there? Right? Have there been any? Anyone remember there being a great sword in the game? I don't. Like the enemies have them. I remember killing enemies with their own great swords and stuff. I've never been able to pick one up and use one. Crafer Rock says Excalibur is one? Where the fuck is Excalibur? I haven't found Excalibur, that's for sure. That crappy nickel ingots. See, I don't need these nickel ingots anymore, really. I, I need the, uh, the tone stand. I think we killed everyone already. Relatively small raid. Here we go. Shout out to Ashen G forever. It took me three dollars. Said DSP, you are a very good streamer. Thank you to Ashen G for the tip. Worth the ten dollars tip so far today. Thank you. And B Boy Cyclone, we subscribed for forty six months. Thank you, B Boy Cyclone. He says, I love to stay and watch the stream. But I myself into the end game, so be safe, my guy. Sounds good. Thank you, B Boy Cyclone. In reality, I don't think I'm at the end game. I thought I was, and I don't think I am. <clears throat> oh, good. That's the raw materials I need to upgrade my camp for. So that's good. here in this big church okay hey can't do this alone is there a particular reason why people are counting up in the stream cookie monster said would this game have benefited from multiple protagonists like syndicate did i think so i think it would have been a a fine game if you switch hey, between two characters a, a lot of people hated on gta 5 because it had three protagonists. Personally, I really liked it because of that. I thought there was a good variety in characters. Because of that, it, it made it more uh, fun to me. More raw materials. Alright, we're done here. That was pretty easy. Alright, so let's head further west to this viewpoint. Go. I guess this is the distrust area when I just killed everyone there. <laughs> Who's left to distrust? There it is. It's a weird viewpoint. It's like a a bunch of birds flying around a tree on top of a mountain or something. <laughs> Alright, we're in the Glow Glow Gloucestershire. Right? Gloucestershire? Gloucestershire? <clears throat> Arch thing is that no one complained about the multiple protagonist feature in GTA. They didn't. When I was playing it, a lot of people were complaining about it. When it was a brand new release, a lot of people were saying they thought that was weak, that they should have one really strong main protagonist they didn't like. They, basically, I guess what everyone was saying was, like, Michael was obviously the huge focus of the game. While, you know, the other characters, did they get parts of the plot? Yes, but it really felt like Michael was the main character. While the other two were kind of, like, just supplementary characters. And in, in particular, I think people felt that Franklin's story was really weak and should have been way better. And they didn't like that. They thought that Michael's was, like, the most robust, interesting story. While 
while Franklin was just kind of, you know, not very good. And honestly, I kind of agree. I think that it, I do feel like the, the, it felt like it was Michael's story and everyone else was just kind of like along for the ride. <clears throat> Isomorph says all the mains for five were unli unlikable. I don't know if I believe that. Like, Michael, yeah, he's, his family is a bunch of shitheads and everything. But, like, you could tell he was a guy who lived in the life, <clears throat> life of crime. You know, life of the mob and everything. And he basically just wanted to get out and he couldn't get out. So it was kind of, oh my god, look at all these opals up here. What happened up here? What the fuck? Whoa. My controller's vibrating like crazy because of this. Look at this. Whoa. Click the key? <clears throat> the Hamlet House door key. This is some weird shit right here. It's obvious this is cursed, right? It says there's another key over here. Yeah, look at this. Well, treasure key. This is very weird. Dark magic shit going on here, man. <clears throat> Let's do the viewpoint and then we'll solve whatever it is. It's gotta be one of the mysteries. Technical 2070 is to me in dollars. You're right here. We'll keep it up. What's for dinner? I believe today we're going to have some gumbo again, which is uh, shrimp and spicy sausage and uh, red peppers in a roux over rice. So I got two keys. I need to find a way to stop the curse. My controller's vibrating again. So I mean, here we go. The curse is here. Dude, there's people impaled. Look at this. What the fuck? Alright, we gotta find the cursed artifact. Could be in either house. Ah! Found it. Collect? Oh, I didn't find it. That was an opal. That wasn't it. No, it's still current. It must be in the other house. Dude, there's blood everywhere. People dead. What happened here? There we go. By Odin, the Nethin curse is lifted. <laughs> Mother, I have gone to Sabrina's spring to bring back a cleansing for the sickness that has overtaken the land. If I don't return, I know that I love you and I tried. The curse was just stronger than my feet. Huh. Whoa, it certainly looks way different how the curse is lifted. But, holy crap, everyone got slaughtered. Weird shit, man. Look, every look, every animal is, is fucking shot. What the fuck? 2% <laughs> milk, 98% swag has subscribed for four months. What a name. What a ser what a, ser a silly name. I love it. Games done painfully slow says, I see you're using dual spears. They're super OP. The great swords are few, but one is just bought from a merchant and the other one is a treasure. So there you go. There are great swords, but apparently they're super rare. I haven't found one. Myself, I haven't found one. All right, so this is going to be the town right here. So I think what we should do is head further west and hit up the other viewpoint and then head to the town to advance the story. So it's this way. Well, we got rid of the curse, at least. It's called the Cragstone Watchtower. All right. This is nice. I like how the countryside looks kind of different now. I like that. The merchant is in Repton. He has a few different weapons. Repton? Have I been to Repton? No. Repton. The name sounds familiar, but I don't remember any, doing any quests or anything. Look at this guy. He's playing a heart. How nice. No. Fight an optional boss today, says R. Breezy. If we find one. What were we talking about? Like the zealots? Sadly, I don't think I have enough clues. 
to do any, um, to do any order assassinations today. The one that we have is story. Yeah, see? Hytham may have more information. Oh! If I talked to Hytham, I wonder if I could have unlocked that. Shit. I didn't realize that you, I could have talked to Hytham. But as soon as, I think he's a story-based one. Everyone else, I don't, I have like half clues, see? I don't have enough clues to get these guys. So I can't do them yet. But I might just run into one of the random zealots, in which case, yeah, I'll, I'll fight him. Pivrock says Asgard? What about Asgard? What are you talking about? North Umbria has the town of Repton. North Umbria, oh god. I've been playing this game for almost three fucking months. <laughs> I gotta remember this. North Umbria. Oh my god. I don't know. You'd have to give me more to go on. You have to tell me where in the map that is. Cause I have no fucking recollection. I need to know what region it's in. <clears throat> All right, I give up. I've already given up. Pay for rock. I will eventually finish Asgard. I'm not gonna. After doing all that work, are you kidding me? After doing all that plotline so far, I'm definitely gonna finish it. But considering people were saying you need to be like level 300 or higher to do it, I decided to wait. Sabrina's Spring. What the fuck is this? A weird spring built out in the middle of a forest? That is pretty weird. Treasure hoard map. I need a key, you fuckers. Where's the key? Could it be in the spring? Prayer sheet, kind Sabrina, protect our people from evil wrought by dark magic and colluding with the devil. Protect my family from the sickness that was wrought at the town of Cragstone. Interesting. So something's going on here with a sickness that's run rampant on people. I don't see a key anywhere, though. So maybe, maybe that reference was a reference to the town of Cragstone and you had... Oh, what's that? I caught a firefly or something. I think if you catch a firefly, you get bonus experience or something. But anyway, yeah, I don't see the key, so I guess I can't do this yet. I don't see, I don't see anything else. I don't see a house. Yeah, see, there's nothing else nearby. Maybe you get the key in the town of Cragstone, and you come back here and do this. Conversely says, how do you travel to Asgard? And why don't you have your Ira down in real life? Are you a god? I personally am not a god. Ivor, I don't believe, is a god either. Although he does speak to, to Odin, which makes no sense. Um, but he's been having these spirit visions because at the beginning of the game, he visits the shaman who <clears throat> makes him go into a trance-like state. And that's when he, he sees the visions of the future. And thinks that he's Odin. And then over the course of the game, he keeps having more of these visions. And that's how you, you play out the parts where you're in Asgard and you're playing Odin. Oh, wait a minute. How do I... How do I get in there? I see. Here it is.
Yoink. Okay. And now? Viewpoint, right? Where's the viewpoint? Or oh, I didn't get there yet? Hold on. I'm at it. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's right here. I see. Look at that view. I think that's where we're going. I think we're going down there to that, that uh, city. <clears throat> it's a nice view. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, mark this on the map, and that's exactly where we're headed. Oh, there's another viewpoint in the town. Perfect. What is this? There's like a quarry or something to the to our... our oh! You know what? Fuck it. Let's fight the zealot. He's up there, huh? Yes, there will be a mini-boss fight? Absolutely there will be. He's about to be. I'm about to kick the zealot's ass. Let's do it. I don't care what level he is. I already killed a zealot that was like way higher level than me, so I don't care. I'm gonna kick this guy's ass. Leicestershire has repped in. Leicestershire. I can keep up, motherfucker. I can keep up with you. Level 280, huh? Level 280, my ass. He got fucked up. My poison's too good. The poison is way overpowered. And so is the double spear shit. <clears throat> Easy kill. In these old worlds, I used to lie down and pray that the leaves would cover me. That I could drag them over me like a blanket. And the inch of Nunos in a bed of leaves. Help me in, stranger, with a song. The sound of Odin stomping on your bones is the only song you hear. <laughs> no, I did not get a haircut. I don't know what you're talking about. I had a haircut several weeks ago. Not now. So much for his ass. In a cloud of fucking disgusting poison. All right, level up. Uh, excuse me. There's like a fort here with treasure in it, but I think I'm gonna head to the, the waypoint. Yeah, I'm only level 233, and I'm killing level 280s like nothing, just steamrolling them, so. Very good. <laughs> the lunch joint room. This is where the treasure is right here. Let's see what this is. Okay, 